Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? Goddamn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. Easy. It's gonna happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Well, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh, that's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon he's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> he's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men, and nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither, but I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys, <laughs> you finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. But you know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Joel, oh man, they were coming in from every direction, and then Maria was like, we gotta run, and so we dove over these tables, and this huge guy blasted with a shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, then... hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this hanging over my head. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? Hey, what's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? We'll talk about it later. Later. Right. It takes one. One fuck up. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Fine. Maria. 
Maria. Here we go. You. If anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. Well, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Joe! What, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. <laughs> is this really all they had to worry about? Boys? Movies? Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt? It's bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time. Tommy knows this area. Oh, better fuck than... that. Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And... You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. Sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. I got two walking. There's more inside already. We're clear. There she is. Kids will be watching movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. Go big horns. <laughs> Ellie, get off your horse. Give it on back to Tommy. I'm gonna hang on to this fella. That's all right with you. Go on, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? 
Your wife kind of scares me. I don't want her coming after me. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror and you can't miss it. You take care of that wife of yours. There's a place for you here, you know? You good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. Yeah, no shit. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. Got me some time to reflect. Been years that felt like we were... Fucking thing was a giant waste of time. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Come on. Looking for the others. They've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. You'll find them there. Still trying to save the world. You know where that is? I know the city. Is it far? It ain't close. I mean, on horseback. What? Fireflies? Get down! <laughs> oh. I think we're safe. Joel? Joel? <laughs> Shit. Joel! You gotta tell me what to do. Come on. You gotta get up. Joel. You'll just startle it. Who's there? Come out! Hello? We just want to talk. Any sudden moves and I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy over there. What do you want? Um, name's David. This here's my friend James. But from a larger group. Women, children. They're all very, very hungry. So am I. Women and children, all very hungry too. Well, uh, maybe we could uh, trade you for some of that meat there. What do you need? Um, weapons, ammo, clothes. Medicine. Do you have any antibiotics? We do. Back at the camp. You're welcome to follow us I'm back. not following you anywhere. Buddy boy can go get it. He comes back with what I need. The deer is all yours. Anyone else shows up... You put one right between my eyes. That's right. Two bottles of the penicillin and a syringe. Make it fast. Go on. I'll take that rifle. Of course. 
Back up. It's probably gonna be a while. You, uh, mind if we take some shelter from the cold? Bring him with us. There. You know, you really shouldn't be out here all on your own. I don't like company. I see. What's your name? Why? Look, I understand it's not easy to trust a couple of strangers. Whoever's heard, you clearly care about them. I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. We'll see. You had another gun? Sorry. Hey, I really like my rifle back now. No, you have your pistol. You know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. <laughs> well, you handled yourself pretty nice back there. <laughs> I'd say we make a pretty good team. We got lucky. Lucky? No, no. No such thing as luck. <sighs> now, you see, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Sure. I do. And I can prove it to you. Now, this winter, that's been especially cruel. A few weeks back, I uh, sent a group of men out to a nearby town to look for food. Only a few came back. They said that the others had been uh, slaughtered by a uh, crazy man <laughs> and get this he's a crazy man traveling with a little girl you see everything happens for a reason uh, don't get upset it's not your fault I'm just a kid James lower the gun no way, David. I'm not gonna let her Lower go. Lower the gun. Now give her the medicine. The others won't be happy about this. Yeah, well, that's not your concern. Move the fuck out of the way. You won't survive long out there. can protect you. No, oh, thanks. Let's get out of here. Joel? Oh. I only managed to get a little bit of food. But I did get this. I'm 
Move your arm. Oh. Here we go. Sorry. Well done. That's it. You're gonna make it. I'm gonna draw them away from here. I'll come back for you. How are you feeling? Super. Here. You should eat. I know you're hungry. You've been out for quite some time. What is it? It's deer. With some human helping on the side? I promise, it's just the deer meat. You're a fucking animal. It's awfully quick to judgment. Considering you and your friend killed how many men? They didn't give us a choice. And you think we have a choice. Is that it? You kill to survive. And so do we. We have to take care of our own, by any means necessary. So now what? You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? <laughs> I'd rather not. Please tell me your name. You're so full of shit. On the contrary, I've been, uh, Quite honest with you. Now I think it's your turn. It's the only way I'm going to be able to convince the others. Convince them of what? That you can come around. You have heart. You're loyal. And you're special. Oh. What am I supposed to tell the others now? Ellie. What? Tell them that... Ellie is the little girl that broke your fucking finger! How did you put it? Hmm? 
tiny pieces. See you in the morning, Ellie. I warned you. I'm infected! I'm infected! Really? So are you. Right there. Roll up my sleeve. Look at it! I'll play along. <laughs> What'd you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? What the hell is that? She would have turned by now. It can't be real. Looks pretty fucking real to me. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? <sighs> What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. I 
Can't be for nothing. Welcome to the Fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> you came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. Does. Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were gonna show me where. Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me, or even her. There is no other choice here. <sighs> yeah, you keep telling yourself that bullshit. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joe. Get up. I said get up. I said keep walking. Where is the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end.
You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. Still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. I ain't done them a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... St they've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. I'm sorry. Back in Boston, back when I was bitten, I wasn't alone. My best friend was there, and she got bit too. We didn't know what to do, so she says, let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. No, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. 